Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In the previous video, Boolean expression minimization was discussed. There we have seen that the Boolean express expressions they are written in two different ways. The first way is that we can write any Boolean expression y, which is function of three variables a, b, and c, is written as a b plus b complement c. If the expression is written like this, it is known as sum of products. Now, why it is known as sum of products? Because here the individual terms a into b it is a product term. B complement C is another product term and then they are added together. So that's why we call it as sum of products. While the second form for the Boolean expressions is another function y which has three variables, we can write it as a plus b complement into b plus c complement. Now this type of expression is known as product of sums. Now what is known as product of sums? Again the first term it is a sum term, second term is also a sum term and then they are multiplied together that is why we call it as product of sums. Now what we have seen that these Boolean expressions can be simplified using the Boolean laws or the rules as discussed in the previous video. However, reducing the complex Boolean expression using the basic laws is more difficult and require use of certain techniques. Now that certain techniques require the Boolean expressions to be expressed in certain standard form, which we are known as canonical form. So in this video, I am going to discuss the canonical or the standard form of Boolean expressions. There are two types of canonical or standard expressions. First one is canonical or standard sum of products form. Or we call it as SOP form. And second one is again canonical or standard product of sums form. Now here I have written the expressions in sum of product and product of sums but they are not the standard or canonical form. We need the expressions in the form of standard forms in order to use the specific techniques of the Boolean expression minimization. Now let's discuss these standard forms one by one. I am going to start with the SOP form. Let's start with the standard or canonical SOP form. So a standard SOP form of Boolean function means a function which contains a standard product term. Now what's the meaning of standard product term? A standard product term is only product expression that contains all input variable either in complemented form or in uncomplemented form. Now what we mean by this? The expression which we have taken as example for SOP expression that was A, B plus B complement C. Now what we see this is a product term, this is also a product term. But in the first product term variable C is missing while in the second product term variable A is missing. So this is not a standard form. Standard form means this term should contain all the variables either in its complemented form or in uncomplemented form. So that is what we need to understand that how to write the expression in the standard, standard SOP form. So the variables in product term represent a single row in the truth table such that on evaluating the expression for the row its value is always 1. So what it means 
the variables which are zero they are written in its complemented form and while the variables which are one they are written in its true form now let's write the sop terms for three variable function where y is function of a b c so the, there are three inputs that is a b and c so when we have three inputs then we have eight possible combination and there is single output that is y now let's write the sop expression corresponding to each combination now these sop expressions they are also known as min terms they are known as min terms and min terms are designated in a specific way so i'm going to write the min term designation as well that how they are written because this is what which i'm going to use in the next videos so three inputs eight combinations 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 
shows that is it is sum of what small m shows it is the sum of min terms which min terms which are expressed over here 0 1 and 5 so if it is given like this and we need to write the boolean expression then we need to write the expression corresponding to m0 m0 is a complement b complement c complement so we will write y is equals to a complement b complement c complement plus expression of m1 a complement b complement c a complement b complement c then the last min term over here is m5 so it will be a b complement c now if all the variables they are present in it then it's in standard form but it is not always the case we might be given with the expressions in which some of the variables are missing in that case we can change it into standard form how can we do that that i will discuss in the next video now just let's go to the second standard form of the boolean expressions that is standard pos form Now a standard POS form of Boolean function means a function which uses standard sum terms. Again, if I go back to the expression which I had written over here, that was y is equals to a plus b complement, b plus c complement. y is equals to a plus b complement, b plus c complement. Now what we see, both individual terms, they are the sum terms. But in first term, what is missing? Variable c. But in second term, variable a is missing. So they are again not the standard product terms. A standard product term means a which contains all independent input variables, either in their complemented form or the uncomplemented form. And how these expressions are written? So these are written in such a way that on evaluation of the expression in a truth table corresponding to a single row, it results in the expression value as 0. So in case of sum of product, it was 1. In this case, the expression evaluation will lead to the function value as 0. So what it means? All the variables whose values are 0, they are written in their true form, while the variables which are 1, they are written in complemented form. Let's write all possible combinations again for the three variable example, where y is function of a, b, c. We need to write all the expressions such that it results in the value of y as 0. We have three inputs a, b, and c. There is only one output that is y. We need to write the standard sum term corresponding to each combination, and these terms are actually known as max terms. And then we need to write that how the max terms are designated so we have min term uh, sorry max term designation as well three inputs so eight possible combinations 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 double 1 1 double 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 triple 1 now corresponding to each combination we need to write the expression in such a way that this function value is always 0. It's a standard sum term means we need to write the sum of three input variables and they are written in their true form if their value is 0. Like in this case all the three variables they are 0. So, we will write A as it is, B as it is, C as it is without any 
complement we can write the expression of max term 0 when we write the expression of next max term that we call as max term 1 a0 so it's written in true form b0 it is also written in true form while c is 1 so c should be written in the complemented form then we move on to the next combination here a is 0 so a is written in its true form b is 1 so b is written in complemented form c is 0 as it is and this is designated as max term 2 then next a b complement c complement because b is 1 and c is also 1 and this is the expression of third max term the fourth max term a is 1 so a is written in complemented form b and c they are written in their true form since they are 0 so this is max term 4 for max term 5 a is 1 so a should be written in complemented form b is 0 as it is c in complemented form and this is the fifth max term the sixth max term a complement b complement and c is 0 so this is the sixth max term and for the last max term m7 a b c all of they are zeros they all the three variables they are written in their complemented form so the max terms they are represented by a capital m well the min terms they were represented by small m now we can have the expression like y which is function of a b c that is given as m0 m5 m7 now what it means this is the product of these max terms it would be also given like phi m 0 phi 7 so phi shows it is multiplication capital m max terms which max term 0 5 and 7 so if this is given then we need to write the expression now corresponding to max term 0 expression is a plus b plus c corresponding to max term 5 expression is a complement plus b plus c complement while max term 7 is that case when all the input variables are 1 1 so it should be a complement b complement plus c complement so this is how we write the expressions in the standard forms now the standard forms both the standard forms they are the dual of each other so in one expression the terms which are min terms they can never be the max terms while which are max terms they can never be the min terms now what i mean to say this if any boolean expression is given like this then we can't write this same as this so if we are writing like this that is completely wrong it's never possible they are never equal so if a expression is written like this and we need to express it in the form of max terms then it should be written like all the terms except these min terms they are actually the max terms so min term one, 0 is over here so 1 2 3 4 5 is present over here so it should not be there in the max terms 6 and 7 is again over there so the min the terms which are there for min terms they can never be there for the max terms and vice versa now again these Pierce terms they may be presented in the standard form or may not be so if any expression is given the form in the form of product of sums but they are not in the standard form they can also be converted into their standard form now how can we convert the non standard form to standard form that i will discuss in the next video if you feel this video is helpful do consider subscribing to the channel and share with your friends Thanks for watching the video.